This is the third video of our configuration manager lab setup video series. And in this video, we are going to look at what are the software requirements for configuration manager and also what are the software we need for our configuration manager lab. Hello everyone, this is Jay Singh. Welcome to my channel, Technic Solutions. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon as well so that you can get all the latest updates and notifications. So all the links which are mentioned in this video, you will find in the description below. Let's get started. All the software we are going to use or download for this virtual lab, it is free or it has evaluation period of 180 days. So 180 days, it is more than enough so that you can learn, gain all the skills and gain all the important confidence that you need while using Configuration Manager console or while working on Configuration Manager. Also, I would suggest you to create documentation while you're working on Configuration Manager. In future, when you work in production, then you can see that what problems you have solved. And if there's a problem, you can always go back and look at the solution which you have documented. You will find a blog related to this video as well, where I will give you all the links that you need. If there's any change, there will be a dedicated section within the blog that you can actually check if there's any update came out or when the blog is updated otherwise it will say this blog is up to date or I will add a date when the blog has been updated or changed. At the end of this video I'm going to share the way that I'm going to use to share all the files from my host machine to the virtual machines. So for example all the software that we're going to download Basically, most of the software we need to share with our Configuration Manager server. So I'm going to share how I can do that or what is the method that I'm going to follow throughout this video series to share the content with Configuration Manager server virtual machine. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump on the computer and I will show you how you can download all the required software step by step. Let's have a look at that. So this is the host machine which we are going to use throughout this video series and uh, I'm going to download all the required software here so that I can show you as well step by step how you can go ahead and download all the required software. So I will open Edge here and in Edge I am actually following my blog so I will be using Config Manager 2002 Lab Software Requirements blog post as a reference guide to download all the required software. So I will open this blog. So the first piece of software we are going to download is Windows Server 2019 ISO file. So this is the file that we are going to use to create two virtual machines, DC01 and uh, our configuration manager. So click on download and it will open a new page and it will ask us to enter more information. So ISO file, download so once uh, you have entered all the information click on continue and select the language i will select english and then click on download so it will start downloading you can see that it has started now let's go back to the blog and uh, the next piece of software we need is windows 10 enterprise iso file we will use this file for our pc-01 virtual machine and later on for operating system deployment we will use this file as well so I'm going to click on download and directly it will take us to the ISO file that we need which is ISO Enterprise. Click on continue again provide all the information and once the information is provided click on continue again and I will select 64 bit and language will be English and then click on download. So it will start downloading ISO file. So we will go back to our blog again and the next piece of software is very important which is configuration manager so i will click on download so configuration manager it will be an exe file so you can see that i will click on continue again we will provide all the information so once you have provided the information click on continue so it will start downloading exe file we will extract configuration manager files from this exe file so let's go back to our blog and then the next piece of software we need is sql server all right so you can check the supported sql versions here so i will click on that and it will show us what are the versions which are supported for Configuration Manager. So here are the options. So let's scroll down. So this will be a standalone primary site which we will configure in this video series. 
So supported versions of SQL Server. We have 2019 standard or enterprise. And if we scroll down, we can see that SQL Server 2017 standard or enterprise. You can use this version with CU version two or higher. Okay, so if, if we are deciding to use 2017, so we need to install cumulative update version two or higher. This is exactly what we are going to use. We will download SQL Server 2017 standard and then we will download this update as well. So we will download the latest update. Let's go back to our blog. So here, this is a direct link to SQL Server 2017 standard edition. So click on that. I'm pretty sure it will ask to provide the information again. So it is an XE file. So we will download this XE file to download further ISO file. So this file will help us to download the media, the installation media for SQL Server. So click on XE, on continue actually, and then provide all the info. Okay, so once you provide all the information and then click on continue, it will automatically, it should start downloading the XE file. It has done that. So it's downloaded and we will run this XE file and then we will click on download media. So it will download the media that we need. So we will download ISO file. So make sure the ISO is selected. By default, it is selected unless you make a change. So ISO is selected, language is English and click on download. So it will start downloading this file. So I will minimize that and let's go back to our blog. So originally, if we have SQL Server 2016, reporting services is included in the actually base installation media. So it is not part of that media anymore. We will download it separately. So let's have a look at that. And SQL Server reporting services, click on the download link here. So we will basically click on download. Okay, so now you can see that it is about 92.5 megabytes file. All right, let's go back to our blog and SQL Server Management Studio. Click on the download link. And here is Download SQL Server Management Studio. Click on it again. So it should start downloading it. There you go. You can see that it is an XE file. It has started. So this is our SQL Server Management Studio to manage SQL Server. Let's go back to our blog. So SQL Server update. So this is the update we looked at earlier. And here's the link that I have given. If you like to find the latest update, so click on that link. So this is not official Microsoft website. However, these people, they actually keep track of all the updates. So simply to download it, I'm pretty sure you click on that and it will take you to a page where you can download the latest update. Here you go. So we can see that this is 20 for SQL Server 2017 and download link is here. How to obtain this update. Here's the download link. So you click on that. Further, it will take you to another page. We will click on download and then it will start downloading it. This is an XE file as well. All right. So let's go back to our blog. So we need Windows ADK. So Windows ADK, either you can directly install it on your configuration manager server or you can offline download it. So I would recommend you can offline download it. And when you need it, you will just use the installation files to install ADK directly, which is a lot quicker and uh, you can utilize your time in a better way. And then we will need add-on as well. So this is another change. So there's an add-on that you have to download. However, on the blog, you can see that I'm talking about Windows ADK 1903. However, so 2002, it does support 2004 ADK. So we will download 2004 ADK and I will later on, I, I will update the blog. So if you click on the first link, it shows you the supported version of ADK for Configuration Manager current branch. So if you click on that and then follow along, you will see that here's a Windows 10 version and configuration manager versions so we are looking at 2002 and we are looking at adk 2004 which is supported so let's go back to the blog and then click on the download link and we will download version 2004 so when you click on download version 2004 it will download a small file adk setup file so we have to run that setup file to download the offline media of adk all right, so if I open this file, first option is install 
and the second option we have is to download so this is the option that we are going to use click on next no next and accept so you can see that it is downloading now i will minimize this and same thing for windows pe add-on so if i click on that you need to download it as well so then you'll do the same thing you will open it i wouldn't be able to run it because there is already uh, it is already downloading windows adk so the same file adk win pe setup xe and then you follow the same steps as we did for adk setup xe and if we run adk win pe setup and you can see that here's a download option and then just click next and no and next accept so you, this is the way you can actually follow and you can download winpe add-on all right and what else so we have add-on yes and this is very important configuration manager update files these files we will need when we install configuration manager so there are two ways so the first one is you can use the installation method the way we do configuration manager installation and download these files during installation which can take a lot of time or the second is you can download these files prior installing configuration manager which is exactly i'm going to show you how you can do that to download these files we need configuration manager files okay so the configuration manager files which we downloaded earlier they were exe files and we have to unzip those files i will show you how you can unzip and where is the file located this file that we need to download configuration manager update files let's have a look at that okay here you can see that mem config manager 2002 it is downloaded so i will double click on that you can see that it is going to unzip in in c drive either you can do that or you can browse where you would like to unzip it all right and then once you have picked the location for example i will pick it downloads and i will pick it other downloads for now okay so click ok and then just click on unzip all right so once you do that once it's unzipped you will see something like this these files all right so browse to these files and we will go to sms setup bin x64 and the file that we are after is setup update l.xe so here it is setup dl so once you get that file setup dl double click on that run it and browse so i will browse to a location for example downloads and i will create a new folder and i will name it config manager update files and then click on download so it will start downloading files okay so now i'm going to show you how you can share all the downloaded software from your host machine to the virtual machines which we will be doing later during this video series however i'm going to make it ready so we will create a virtual hard drive and then we will attach this virtual hard drive to the relevant virtual machine which we'll be doing later during this video series so in the forthcoming videos when we will configure our configuration manager and then we will need all this software okay so then we will share this software from our host machine through a virtual drive so we are going to configure this virtual drive let's have a look at how you can configure that all the downloaded software you can see that on that screen is about 20 gb it's 18.6 so the virtual drive that I'm going to create is about 20 GB. So for that, we will need Hyper-V. If you haven't enabled Hyper-V, you can enable Hyper-V from optional features. Hit Windows R and then type optional features and run it. And then you can see that Hyper-V and then enable Hyper-V management tools and Hyper-V platform. All right, for that, you need Windows 10 Pro, Enterprise or Education. So in the Hyper-V manager, we will click on new and then hard disk and then click next. So VHDX is fine, click next. We will be using dynamically expanding according to the storage we will be consuming. So click next and uh, specify name. So I will say CM underscore software and I am going to browse it and I will save it on a different location. So right now, I'm planning to save it on TEK01. Select the folder, click next, 
and uh, about 20 GB. Click next, finish. So it will be ready straight away. So I will minimize that. And this PC, TEK01, we have CM underscore software. Double click on that. All right, so it's not initialized actually. Before that, we have to initialize it. So we will go to disk management, disk five, GPT is fine, click OK. So we go at the bottom, you can see that it is here. So click on where it says 19.98 GB unallocated and click on uh, new simple volume, click next and next and next. So I will name it CM underscore software, click next and finish. So this is ready now. So if you go to this PC, you can see that CM underscore software is there. So we will go back where we have downloaded all the software and I'm going to copy all these files and I will put all these files here under CM underscore software. So this is the virtual hard drive we will use at a later stage when we will install prerequisites on configuration manager or we will install configuration manager itself. Any questions? Leave it in the comments box below. I'm more than happy to help you. That is all for this video. If you find it helpful, give it a thumbs up and show your support by subscribing to my channel and click on the bell icon as well to get the latest updates. In the next video, we will configure virtual machines and virtual networking. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. See you then.